Uh, so we are here at the Holsteiner approvals and I have my mare Ginger which her jockey club name is Allie Grace and her first colt which uh, that's Toddy and he's, let's tell the tea and he's by Luca T which is bred by Dia Frost and um, so we're here today for them to hopefully get approved and uh, be in the German step book. Hello. Okay. What is your name? Elisa Wallace. 42. 42. Yep. One mare and one foal. Mm -hmm. So after we checked in, uh, Ginger and Toddy settled in well, and then the mares had to be uh, measured. They have to measure at least 15-2. Uh, Ginger, I believe, measured at 16.2, and um, so she's well within the guidelines to be in the book, and uh, that was our first step, and then next we head to the handling portion. This is number 42, yeah. Allie Gray, the thoroughbred mayor owned by Elisa Wallace. The cult is Let's Tell the Tea by Lucas T. out of the thoroughbred mayor Allie Gray. So this is the in-hand portion, and also Liberty, where the mares and the foals are going to be inspected. So first they're going to look at Ginger, uh, and they're going to analyze her for her type, uh, her top line, front legs, hind legs, her walk, trot, and her canter. And uh, then they do the same for Toddy as well. And uh, then depending on that, then... Um, if she receives scores high enough, and then she's able to go into the premium book uh, where then her foals can be full registration Holsteiners. So um, you'll see here Andras is handling her for me while I have Toddy. Uh, and the judges are going to go through and look her over. And she's doing a pretty good job. Sometimes um, it can be a little hard for the mares and the babies being in this atmosphere, but Toddy was very calm um, and Ginger was pretty good too. So now it's Toddy's turn. I bring him up here and uh, try to stand him up. <laughs> I could have maybe stood him up a little bit better, um, but he was being a pretty good baby. They could see him. And now uh, for this part, I'm able to let him go free and uh, now they're going to be watching kind of both of them how they go. Uh, in this portion they're just walking and Ginger I knew would be a little tight at the walk. Um, what they're looking for is a big overstep relaxed walk but I knew she was going to be a little tight and uh, of course got a little bit of a jig there. But she is overstepping but I would like her to be a little bit more relaxed but um, I mean she tried and then going this way they're gonna head towards the judges so they can see all the things they can see how those horses move the correctness how straight they are and so now they're just trotting in hand Andras Andras has to do a lot of this all day long so uh, he has some pretty good endurance as he did most of the horses there And actually, Andras uh, owned Lotus T, who is Toddy's grandsire. And he owns the facility and hosted the approvals. Uh, so now they're going free. And this is where the judges want to see kind of the elasticity and how the horses move. They really want to see them moving uphill and free. Um, I was worried about Ginger possibly attempting to jump um, some of the jumps because she can be pretty keen at jumping but she's such a lovely mover and um, <laughs> Toddy's trying to be good as well. I was pretty pleased with how they handled themselves in there and you know you want them to kind of show themselves off a little bit um, to really show their movements and especially for Toddy kind of the 
This is where with the folds that you can get an idea of what to maybe expect in the future. Um, so, you know, yes, they're kind of, they get up on a little bit of adrenaline, but I feel both of them have really good movement, really good natural abilities. Um, they're both really nice, light and uphill. And I thought kind of the combination of Luca and Ginger in producing Toddy would kind of produce that really nice modern type uh, event horse that also would be high in the thoroughbred blood. So that would also contribute to, uh, you know, really long lasting endurance. Thank you for the presentation. This was number 42. It was a colt by Lucas T. out of a thoroughbred mare. Breeder and owner is Elisa Wellis. First, I give you give you a short comment for the foal. We saw a very long-legged foal, very novel and typey, very fine with a good face. Today is seven for the type, and we also like the, the movements, elastic with a not ground cover, a seven also for the gates, and all in all a premium foal. Congratulations! Now a short comment for the mayor, Ellie Grace. She's by the thoroughbred Wilburn. She's in a brilliant condition. She is very uphill. She has a nice face and a good eye, a well set neck. We also like the top line. Maybe the, the hoof is not in the best condition at the moment, but all in all a good mayor. A seven for the type, a seven for the top line, a six for the front leg. A seven for the hind leg and today a six for the walk there could be a little bit more ground cover a seven for the trot and also a seven for the canter <coughs> all in all 47 points and it is a premium mayor congratulations um it was a very successful day we had a mission accomplished where uh both Toddy and Ginger were rated premium, so they're, that's really good, and um, they scored pretty well. The, the fear was that they wouldn't score well, but I was very proud of them. They handled themselves very well for their first time trailering off the property. Todd's was a very good boy, and Ginger was actually very well behaved. And, um, yeah, couldn't have asked them to be any better, honestly. Oh, so I also got to have, we had Dia and Sydney, who are the breeders and owners of Lucas T, who is uh, Toddy's sire. They came down, and so it was really great that Luca got to have his first full rated premium. So that's really good for Luca. So that's really exciting. <laughs>